I'm Rich Strong, the Director of Education at Fort Ticonderoga. I am also the Project Director for the American Revolution on the Northern Frontier, Fort Ticonderoga, and the Road to Saratoga, an NEH Landmarks of American History and Culture workshop for school teachers that will be offered twice during the summer of 2014. I invite you to apply to be part of this in-depth look at the early years of the American Revolution as they unfolded here at Fort Ticonderoga during the years 1775 through 1777. We'll examine the critical role of Fort Ticonderoga and the surrounding region during the early years of the American War for Independence. We'll look at some of the personalities involved and examine some of the often overlooked participants, including Native Americans, African Americans, women, and Loyalists. In addition to utilizing the Fort Ticonderoga site and collections, we'll visit the Lake Champlain Maritime Museum and Saratoga National Historical Park. We've brought together an exciting lineup of visiting scholars from across the country, including James Kirby Martin from the University of Houston, Holly Mayer from Duquesne University, William Fowler from Northeastern University, and John Parmenter from Cornell University. I think you'll find spending a week at Fort Ticonderoga's NEH Landmarks workshop to be rewarding both personally and professionally. But you don't have to take my word for it. Listen to these three teachers who took part in this workshop when it was last offered in 2011. Hello, my name is Wendy Lockard. I'm an eighth grade teacher at St. Jerome Catholic School in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I teach sixth, seventh, and eighth grade language arts and eighth grade U.S. history. I am so happy and proud and appreciative that I was accepted at the NEH workshop here at Fort Ticonderoga. I learned so, so much. My scope of learning just expanded so wide. I have so much to bring back to my class to enhance my lessons. I was thoroughly impressed with the scholarly lessons and the presenters, the field trips, and of course the facilitators who are so wonderfully accommodating and I just know that I'm going to have a lot of interest in my classes. Thank you. My name is Skip LaRue. I'm from the, a coastal town in Maine called Booth Bay. I teach U.S. History 1, U.S. History 2, AP American History, and American Government. Um, I found out about the program here at Fort Ticonderoga through the NEH site and signed up for it and been having had a blast this this past week. I have learned so much new material that I can integrate into my uh, all my classes, whether it be AP one, whether it be AP U.S. History one, U.S. History two, or the American government. Um, where we're standing here on the grounds of Fort Ticonderoga is sort of a pivot point in the in the history of the United States, and the knowledge that I've. I've learned here I can incorporate in to augment my studies and to bring history to my students and make it more alive. My name is Valerie Carnavale and I am a 7th and 8th grade U.S. History teacher from Rhode Island. I think weeks like this are important first of all for the collaboration with other teachers. It's really great to find out what is happening regarding history in other parts of the country. It's also really important to have experiences like this to be able to assist my own comprehension of historic events so that we're able to bring the story more alive for our students. It's really great to get primary sources to be able to use in the classroom and to have these discussions about how to use these sources and really the overall experience um, to be able to bring into the classroom for our students. The application window for 2014 NEH Landmarks workshops is now open. Applications are due by March 4th, 2014. Please consider joining us for this extraordinary opportunity to delve into the first three years of the American Revolution at Fort Ticonderoga, America's Fort.